it was a time when I had to present myself to a Vietnamese community to let all the people know that I will be one of the volunteer teachers to help uh, the kids to learn Vietnamese as a foreign language. Uh, to prepare for that day, I choose to use my traditional Vietnamese cloth, ao yai. It's a very long clothes with two front and back pieces cut to the size from a woman hip position. It came with a pair of white silk pants consisting of two tubes, um, accompanied by the white lotus pattern printed on the shirt, symbolizes a poorly mental state a person's essential tranquility. I did not forget to hang them on by the hanger on the night before I had dressed up to go to the school where I am volunteering. Going with Ao Yai, I wore high heels. So that when it came to presenting yourself to the community, I tried to stand up straight to feel more confident. Since I want to bring Vietnamese culture to the younger people here in the U.S. and being a volunteer teacher who helps the kids, I want to act as professionally as I can through dressing like a traditional Vietnamese woman, thinking and communicating like a Vietnamese teacher. As it was the Vietnamese community, there were several agents involved in this socialization process. They consisted of the Roman Catholic Church members, volunteer peers, students, families. I was successful in achieving my desire for a Vietnamese teacher image. At the end of the introduction, some strangers who are the parents grandparents of the kids came to me. They gave me some compliments on the dress and they asked me what I am doing since I am a current college student. Um, some people who already graduated from college might look at me as an unprofessional person. It made me worry a little bit at first. But then my anxiety went away when people recognized me as uh, the one who can help their kids to learn a new language.